पीपल अक्रॉस नॉर्थ अमेरिका फ्रॉम अ मैक्सिकन सी शोर टू ब्रेथ टेकिंग नियाग्रा फॉल्स ऑन द यू एस कैनेडा बॉर्डर कास्ट देयर आईज स्काईवर्ड ऑन मंडे फॉर अ टोटल एक्लिप्स चीरिंग द सेलेस्टियल शो एंड इन अर्कनसास गेटिंग मैरिड एंड मैस Where clear skies prevailed, observers along the direct path of the eclipse were treated to the rare spectacle of the moon appearing as a dark orb creeping in front of the sun, briefly blocking out all but a brilliant halo of light or corona around the sun's outer edge. It was North America's first total eclipse since 2017. I'm going on my 60th birthday in a few few days. And I don't know how many of these I'm going to want to see or have the energy to see, so I'm like, let me do it while I can. She surprised me. I'm really into all of the machines and naval and air stuff and work and we're actually uh very close by. As totality hit at a campground in North Hudson in upstate New York. Hundreds of people shrieked with excitement. Oh my god, some said as the temperature dropped and outdoor lights on a nearby building flicked on fooled by the darkness. We were just talking about how it kind of looks like a pierogi. It looks like a croissant. <laughs> we're like comparing it to its food shape, so we're getting to croissant wrap pierogi now. <laughs> I have not I've never you know made it out I've never skipped class to come see an eclipse so this is super exciting So you skipped the class today? I did. I did. I skipped my afternoon class. I told my professor I have to miss class. This is a rare rare occasion. <laughs> I think it's really cool. I never witnessed a eclipse before. Uh, and they say it's not going to happen again until like maybe 20 years or 100 years so it will be once in a lifetime. Really excited, yeah. <laughs> once in a lifetime, maybe not once. I know, right? Well, once in a long time. Like a once in a lifetime thing, you know? I think the last time maybe it was a little bit. <laughs> And the next time it's going to be very far away. It's exciting. Yeah. I I can't remember the last time I saw even a partial one, so it's exciting for all of us. Mexico's beachside resort town of Mezaltel was the first major viewing spot along the path of totality. Thousands of people thronged the coastal promenade, perched in deck chairs with solar safe eyewear, and an orchestra played the Star Wars movie theme as skies darkened under the approaching lunar shadow. The crowds burst into cheers, applause, and whistles when the eclipse reached totality. Countless eclipse-watching events convened at bars, stadiums, fairgrounds, and parks. Mucha emoción, ganas de abrazar a la familia. Nos dio frío, se nos quitó el calor. Y es algo único. Gracias al mundo y al universo. We'll be watching the partial eclipses as they progress towards totality and more and more of the sun is uh, covered. Then during totality as the last little bit of the sun disappears, we will see something called the diamond ring effect. Just the last little bit of sun to disappear. And then we'll be in totality, we'll be able to see the beautiful corona stretching out from the sun. We might be able to see some planets, Mars, Jupiter and Venus will be up in the sky. And we're very excited today because uh, we're going to witness a total uh, solar eclipse, which means that the uh, 
the moon will be in the middle of the sun and earth. And I'm very excited today because this is a unique opportunity to see the phenomena of the, uh, not only the, the uh, photosphere and the chromosphere, but also of the solar corona. At Niagara Falls, people viewed the eclipse next to the roaring waterfall with hundreds dressed in costumes to look like the sun. That was magical. That was amazing. Uh, it, uh, it was my second eclipse. It was her first and neither of us have ever been to Niagara before. It was just incredible. Could you describe how it was in the eclipse to someone who doesn't know? So this eclipse, was, so my first eclipse, uh, it was very clear sky. This one, it was cloudy, which was so cool because um, the clouds would part for a second and everyone would gasp and there would, you could see just every few seconds the clouds would uh, part enough for you to be able to see the Corolla. It was so amazing. <sighs> Niagara Falls is beautiful even without the eclipse. The eclipse just made it 10 times better. I thought it was amazing. I liked how like it got really dark. It was like nighttime. <laughs> I noticed that the birds kind of lost their direction. <laughs> They were kind of flying all over the place. They didn't know what to do. <laughs> I think the most awe-inspiring part for me was the darkness. Uh, I did see parts of the actual eclipse, like between the cloud cover, I saw some. Uh, but the darkness, I felt it getting cooler over that first hour beforehand. And it seems it's still cold right now, too. The period of totality lasting up to four and a half minutes, depending the observer's location, was assured in by a number of other eclipse effects. Some stars twinkled at midday as dusk abruptly descended, sending temperatures dipping and faint waves of shadow bands flickering over the landscape. Birds and other wildlife sometimes fall silent and still. Eclipse fans traveled from far and wide hoping to glimpse the phenomena somewhere along the path of totality stretching 2,500 miles or 4,000 kilometers from Mexico's Pacific coast through Texas and across 14 other U.S. states into Canada. The moon's shadow exit continental North America in Newfoundland. A partial eclipse in which the moon obscures only a portion of the sun unfolded across most of the continental United States outside the path of totality. There were many different kinds of celebrations. Nearly 400 couples tied the knot in the shadow of the moon in a mass wedding event in Russellville, Arkansas, dubbed Elope and the Eclipse. Coro 43 said she traveled 10 hours by car to reach Mazatlan for an event widely considered one of the nature's greatest wonders. Overcast skies across much of the United States added an extra challenge for many. Laura and Brian were awaiting the eclipse on the banks of the Ohio River between Indiana and Kentucky on Monday after cloudy forecasts prompted the Denver-based couple to abandon their initial plan of viewing it in Texas and book last-minute flights and rental cars several hundred miles away. Laura, 56, said she was excited to experience the eclipse by a riverbank teeming with birds and insects. At up to 4 minutes and 28 seconds, the total eclipse surpassed the duration of the 2017 one that lasts upward of 2 minutes and 42 seconds. 
According to NASA, solar eclipse totalities can range from 10 seconds to about 7 and a half minutes. Monday's total eclipse rolled through more densely populated regions than seven years ago. A corridor averaging 115 miles or 185 kilometers. Wide encompassing such major cities as San Antonio, Austin, Dallas, Texas, Indianapolis, Indiana, Cleveland, Ohio, Pennsylvania and Montreal, Quebec. One word it will be all, you know, all to towards nature, all towards the creation, all towards our Lord, you know, made all this, uh, you know, and all towards science that is able to predict, you know, to the second when these kinds of things are going to happen. Overall, it was awesome, and yeah, it was tricky to have to go through the clouds, and you you just. It wasn't like what it was planned to be, but it was pretty awesome. It was incredible. It was unbelievable. The day turned into night for four minutes or even longer than four minutes. And then the sun was completely covered by the moon. And you could just see the edges all around during totality. It was just um, something that you don't see every day, right? And that's why I flew all the way from Miami over here to see it. It's really hard to find words. It's amazing. Um, like this is my first totality that I have seen and it's been just nerves coming up to this, wondering because the weather's been supposed to be so bad um, or so much cloudy or potentially cloudy. Um, but we saw some, we got some of it. Uh, worth the trip worth the trip. Um, it's really hard to find words. Yeah, I just, I cried. <laughs> Experts urged the use of protective solar glasses to prevent eye damage that would otherwise occur from looking directly at the sun. Only during the few minutes of totality could the sun can be safely viewed without such eyewear, they said. It was really amazing. Um, yeah, it was an experience I've never felt before. When it got totally dark, I literally was like screaming the whole time. I actually cried a little tear or two a little because it was like overwhelming. Um, it was an amazing experience. I felt like a, like I just felt like whoa, it's like dark. It's like 1:40 dark. I was like, oh, it's so. It was just all just so surreal. <laughs> You know, and this is one time in our lifetime here we can see the totality, so it was, it was pretty special. We enjoyed it, you know. And it wasn't totally dark, but, you know, enough that you could tell, and it just was exciting to see all the people, and everyone went, yay, you know, it was, but it was total, yeah, it was cool. Yeah. Right, everyone, like is, everyone was just like yelling. I was like, oh, it's happening, it's happening. That's how I got my friend and she was like, oh, it's happening. I was like, I started looking up and it's like, oh, whoa, for real. And then everyone started yelling. I was like, woo! Because it was, just, it was all just so surreal. Definitely, everyone, everyone cheering and screaming also like helped the vibe and energy of feeling like that total, like, totality. And it felt kind of spiritual in a sense as well. Yeah, it was amazing. So this one probably the, the last one I'll see, you know, I was told the next one's in Denver in 20 years. We'll see if I'm still around. <laughs> um, they said there's one in like Colorado in 20 years. So like, I'm like, I need to plan out going to Colorado in 20 years to see another one. So I definitely want to see another one in my lifetime. It was amazing. And hopefully by then I have kids and a family so I can like share and experience it with them as well. About 32 million people in the United States live within the path of totality with federal officials predicting another 5 million people traveled to be there. Wow. 
small rural towns bustled such as advance in missouri home to just over 1300 people where tim and gwen had driven from their kansas city home after checking weather forecasts they had thrilled to witness a partial eclipse in 2017 and were excited for totality fantastic yeah, was... it was i cried <laughs> yeah it was definitely tear worthy once in a lifetime yeah what you guys think it was really good it i think it was really cool, cool to look at without your glasses when it went into totality i don't want to wait another 20 years for it to happen again <laughs> can we just speed that up a little bit <laughs> just the moment when it just went dark and everything i mean it's the most beautiful thing i've seen it really was a, a moment of i was just amazed blown away i would travel to go find another one um it was like totally dark like it looked like a sunset all around but without the sun um and then there was just like a white hazy ring around just a black circle and um it was just insane just it's hard to describe oh my gosh it was crazy it was, it was really cool <laughs> yeah it, it was beautiful to watch i saw it in 2017 but i don't know this one is much a clearer memory of it just you know that image that online that you see seeing it in person and just the energy here too is fantastic with the music and the people cheering that was really fantastic it was crazy it was really cool out like the heat from the sun just like went away it melted away it felt really cool and like a nice breeze coming through here especially on a nice 70 degree day today with clear skies it felt great i <laughs> see the light kind of go flat yes. what about you <laughs> Yeah, it was crazy. Just how it got darker. Like, and you're like, why is it getting darker? Oh yeah, because the sun's disappearing. So. <laughs> it took about 80 minutes from the moment the moon first began to cover the sun to the moment of totality. Then another 80 minutes to complete the process in reverse. The last remaining bit of brilliant sunlight before totality creates a diamond ring effect. in which a single bright spot appears along the lunar edge even as the sun's corona leaves a ring of light around the moon <laughs>